All right, so I just got done installing my AirDog 2 4G 165 liter per hour lift pump. It's a 2012 Ram 3500 Cummins turbo diesel, six speed manual. Uh, I have like 70, oh, 70 something thousand miles on it. 73,455 miles on the clock. It had a tune from Motor Ops from the previous owner. There's a bunch of stuff I fixed. I had to put it in a new clutch, so I just did South Bend dual disc. Uh, new wheels and tires. I upgraded it with the uh, adjustable control arms, which are awesome. So, but going through the install, just want to run through a few things and it'll help you guys out because these are things I ran into in case you're going to do this on your own. So, get yourself a transmission jack. I flipped the, uh, the arms upside down so it wasn't creating four points of pressure, hard pressure into the jack, or sorry, into the fuel tank. And I did a under the rail mount or inside the rail mount. Uh, nice clean install. Went in well. The fuel tank. All right, we'll go into this. The fuel tank was the biggest pain in the butt of the install. So do you guys do yourself a favor. If you're removing the fuel tank, even if you're not doing the air dog install, if you're removing the fuel tank, remove the drive shaft. Four bolts. Two bolts. And then it slides out gently. Don't let this part slam down. There's a, the part that mates into the transfer case. Sorry. Don't let it slam down and hit the ground or anything. Don't mar it up, protect it. That's gonna be your, your moving part. So on top, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but uh, you can see my setup. I've got the, the kit comes with the, uh, the sump kit for the fuel tank, the upgraded sump kit, the 4G does anyways. I don't know if any of the other ones do. <coughs> but I've got everything hooked up. I've got it routed up over the new fuel lines, up over each of these bars so it doesn't pinch against, see, up over this one. They're over the top between the bed in there and up over here so it doesn't pinch between the tank and those bars coming up. Supply line coming in turn line and then going out so also another thing to help you guys out remove the supply line just take it out take it out it's going to the factory fuel pump you're gonna bypass it anyways it's not fuel pump sorry fuel filter take out the whole thing I did a, uh, a fleece uh, delete so there's that in there um, the whole bracket comes out fuel water sensor the plug that comes off the side of the fuel filter housing is for the fuel heater. I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. I live in a pretty moderate climate. It doesn't ever get cold here. Well, like cold, cold. So I'm fully deleted. Intake. Uh, elbow and everything. <coughs> Let's see. Other tricks or other tips for the install. Really, the fuel pump is the worst of it. And because I had a drain back from the fuel tube and it went all over and I was wondering if I had a leak, but I didn't. So I just took everything out, got rid of it. Everything's great. Now, I know there's some people who have lift pumps and like they're incredibly noisy. This is not, this is quiet. I mean, I actually had to go down the side of the truck the first time I powered it on to see if it's even running. So key in. You can barely hear it. I mean, sounds like it's already loaded up. So, but let's do that again so you can hear it. I'll put it down. I don't know if you hear it, but it's really not very loud. I mean, you have to go right next to it to hear it. So, Overall, the idle speed in idle is way better. Smoother idle, throttle response seems to be better. And uh, yeah, it just, it's a smoother idle. If you hear the chattering, 
that's my dual disc clutch. But yeah, that's my review of the Air Dog. Haven't got to drive it around yet, but oh yeah, one more thing. So if you're doing the <coughs> the fleece performance fuel filter block off or the fuel filter block off plate, it's easiest if you just remove this. My intake horn is a real pain in the butt to get off. It's an aftermarket one and it just wasn't moving around really well so I tightened it all back up and uh, just came in through the side. It's a little bit of a reach but it worked out pretty good. The fleece performance one comes with new uh, washers, crush washers, copper crush washers for the banjo fittings and yeah. So far, I'm impressed. We'll do an update video later on. Later on this week, I've got my PPEI uh, Easy Link coming in, Easy Link 2. <sighs> Motor Ops tune is garbage. I mean, it just is. It doesn't communicate properly. Excuse me. It doesn't communicate properly with the, the truck. Half the time, my exhaust gas back pressure sensor, oh, I don't have it on, and my boost, like it doesn't run right, the exhaust brake doesn't work correctly. You know, <coughs> I just, I wanna go with something that I know is tested and proven, and everybody has great results with them. So, you know, I spent a lot of money on the truck. I wanted to have the best. So I'll update you guys once that comes in. Got the five position switch as well, the CSP switch or whatever it's called. So yeah, that's my truck. That's what's going on. Thanks for watching.